Hi everybody, welcome back to another sort of instalment of uh, Retro Gaming and Arcade UK. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit more about speaking about uh, what pickups I've personally had um, over the last few months. Um, I will be doing it monthly, so just showing what I picked up in that month. But where this is the first one, I thought I'd show you whereabouts I get this stuff from. Um, how I go about getting it, um, how much time I spend at these places, you know, just for people that have just come into it or people that have been in it for a little while and um, are a little bit of a loose end during COVID. Um, so yeah, it's just kicking off. I think we should just start off at the bottom straight away. So basically, I, this is kind of like a little selection of um, uh, CEX, Computer Exchange pickups. Now. I call them. I call that shop, uh, them places like a, a whatever shop. They are. Um, you don't spend any time in these places. I mean, I've got an app. Um, I've got the CEX app, and I literally go whatever sort of area that I'm in. So, say if I'm in Kent, I will uh, put all the local. So, I'll basically, I'll put Mega Drive, and then go into the stores section and see what the local stores have actually got. Um, and then I go from there. But again, when I say whatever, it, it just whatever. Like if they haven't got anything, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Or if you go in, so but it's, these are. So I go into these shops and then I see the quality of them. Like these, are, I'm, I picked these up literally the other day, and I've got to say they are in great condition. You've got the manual, you've got the little original card in there. The light is actually ruining that shot, but. I'm sure you can see that it's a uh, it's pucker. up. Um, the same with the same with all of these. Okay, this is out of box. I never really ever buy anything out of box, but um, I wanted it. It was twelve quid, so I weren't going to moan at that. Um, but again, it's, it's it's I don't care about them places. Like I literally just walk in, grab my games, and go. Um, there's not much else to say about it really. Uh, but these are the pickups that I've had recently. Again, if I can open it, there you go, it's got the manual. It all looks very nice and tidy. Um, the CD is pretty good, not even gonna see it because of the reflecting of the light. But yeah, that's, so that's CEX. Um, let me get the other sections. So these ones here, they were from a uh, game show, uh, games fair, sorry. Um, now you go with a games fair, I always go with the head of, I'm gonna be spending a little bit more money on these games than what you probably would if you found them in a store or, um, or in CEX. Basically, because it's just like they've obviously got to pay for their stall and things like that, and, and it being deep in London as well, you just expect to pay more money. Um, I'm a bit, but I'm a bit of a bargain hunter, and um, I've had a, I did have a touch with these. So, the best, the best advice I can give is just look about, especially with this one here. I had a real touch with this one, um, and look how mint it is. I ain't even taken it out of the plastic. I mean, I, I opened it up to make sure that it's okay. I, I don't open it up to play it every now and again, but then. It just goes straight back into the plastic and I keep it nice. Um, but again, with this, is this was just a tiny little stall. I mean, these are the ones you get a lead to look for. You look, it was just a tiny little stall. It weren't too, I don't know, it weren't that much bigger than this, to be honest. Um, and they had a selection of games and Game Boys and things like that. And I see this and I picked it up and she went to me 40 quid. And I was like, even 40 quid is not a bad price for a games fair. But I was like, I went, hmm. Oh, I don't know. I've just, I only just got there. I'll have a look about, see if there was anything else. Like, um, just made it look like I was interested in in that item. Went about the business. Went and had, had a little look about, uh, and sort of when it came, became, I took a gamble really because that could have gone. Well, right? could have gone. But with such a small stall stuck out the way, I thought I'd take the gamble. Um, and then I went back later, just before. About an hour and a half in after I've looked about. I went up to her, I picked it up again. I was like, oh yeah, I'm in an hour. And she went, do you know what? Just take it for 30 quid. I was like, bang, I'll have that all day long. Um, so 
really is best to just uh, shop about. Um, that's got the manual, that's, that's mint. This one, okay, I paid a little bit over the odds, but it is absolutely crisp, absolutely mint. I'll take this one out of the packet quick so you can see. If I can open it, because to be honest, I've not even opened it. I opened it at the show just to make sure it was all there. And then I've not even opened it because I mean, you've got other formats to play uh, Mortal Kombat 2 on, but this is absolutely crisp as you like. Beautiful uh, example of it. Uh, I actually paid 50 quid for this. I think they're actually, I think it's actually, uh, I think it's actually gone up to sort of around that price uh, worth. Maybe more than that now, actually. But there's a lot to be said to have something in your hand um, at these game fairs. And if you go with the uh, head that you're going to spend a little bit more money, then I think uh, you'll be fine. Um, anyway, so next section is the actual retro game stores that uh, that popped up. So what did I put? Uh, what have I got from there? All right, so I think I've only got one example at the moment. Where was the other one? Should I have another one. I should have got organised. Okay, so these two. Um, bought from actual retro stores. Now, I treat retro gaming stores, because they're like independent sellers, they've set the business up themselves, I always like to spend a little bit of time there. Um, and I sort of treat it, do you know how you used to treat, if anybody was into music and used to buy records, if, if you treat it like a record shop, you'd go to the record store, you'd spend a few, an hour, two hours there, talking to the, um, talking to the person in the shop, um, get more interaction and then you find you will start getting deals like that um, so I bought this one from a retro store in uh, Romford Essex and I bought this one from a retro store in um, Leon C uh, I both know the fellas now because I spent time with them um, and I think, I think I picked this one up for this one was a little bit more expensive I was I'm in an R in over this to be honest but it's such a beautiful example again if you've got something in your hand and it's, it, it's, I mean, there's no cracks, the manual's in there, the disc is perfect, it's, it's, it's like brand new. So I paid 45 for this. Um, but it's such a beautiful example. See, I'm looking at a lot of this as an investment as well for my son. As much as I love playing all these games, um, I want to keep them nice um, for future when I have obviously pass it down to him. Um, so the, obviously the best example is you can find things like this I probably won't touch too much because I want to keep them nice um, obviously I play it but there's other ways of playing these games you've got so many emulators now that um, you don't necessarily need to touch these as much as it's lovely playing it on the original hardware um, apart from that there's not much else to talk about it because I'm going to be going to these stores and I'm going to be doing reviews of these stores and actually having it going to be doing interviews with these uh, people at the stores. There's not much else to talk about it. Um, just to recap, this video is more about um, people that are starting out or that have been in the industry for a little while um, and just really want to know how other people work. Um, but again, beautiful examples. I've got the manual in these. This one's a little bit more battered. I only paid sort of 20 quid for this anyway, so that was a deal in itself. This one, I'm not even going to undo it because it, you just tell by the box. It's absolutely crisp. Absolutely crisp. It doesn't even look touched. So that's the shots. eBay. I don't pick up much from eBay. I think people have to bump the price up in eBay. Um, I mean, if you've got no other choice, then eBay's fine. But I really don't spend too much time trying to buy games on eBay. I buy little odds and sods for my car and things like that on eBay. Um, but this. Um, there's a bit of a story behind this game, so absolutely chuffed to get this one. Manuals in there, it's, it's lovely. It's a, it's a good, pardon me, it's a good example. Again, I went to CEX. Um, there was two shops that had this. There was one in uh, Dagnum, and there was one in Alpington, Kent. So Dagnum's in Essex, Alpington is in Kent. Um, the one in Dagnum was only was 22 quid, and I was like, hmm. Uh, and the one in Orbiton was 30 quid. So I went and got the 30 quid. I didn't even look at it. Um, got it home, it didn't have a manual in it. I was pretty cheesed off to be honest because why would I pay 30 pound for something that didn't have a manual in it? 
um, obviously getting the more expensive one, so I took it back, looked on eBay, and now an eBay co code popped up. Now I see this for 30 quid, I was prepared to pay 30 quid for it. Um, it had the manual, great example. Um, <laughs> and I, I managed to get it for 20 quid, because eBay gave me a tenner. So I am over the moon about this, I love this game. I actually play this a lot. Um, like I say, it's got the manual in it. It's a beautiful example. It's a little bit, I mean, you can't help it. It's a little bit yellowing, but I mean, come on, the game's what? 20 years old? You can't, you really can't uh, moan about that. Now I wanted to get, I wanted to show you these because I didn't actually know this myself. Now I bought this at a game show. I only paid a tenner for it. Gaze of Bright sorted me out, but it didn't have a manual. Now I see uh, another one in CEX and it had a manual. Now I didn't know there was two different versions of it. So, <laughs> so being a collector, um, I've kept both. See, I was just going to jog this one on and sell it. But uh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep both of them because it's obviously this is obviously the earlier one. It's got the old, it's even, even in the old casing. This is an, uh, obviously the newer one, and it's got the newer casing. I don't know what the difference are in the actual game itself. I haven't noticed anything. But I picked this one up because it's obviously got the manual, and I needed the manual. So again, that was just another pickup. Um, last but not least, oh no, not last but not least. Been after one of these for ages. Most of them are buggered. Six button control pad. Now, I nearly paid as much for this as I did the actual console itself. So these are becoming quite rare, I think. I think if you see these, pick them up. Uh, I think I picked this up for like 18 quid. Um, just grab it. I mean, if they're gonna become more and more valuable, because they're becoming more and more redundant or becoming more and more rarer because the buttons are going, pick them up because you can't beat these six button joypads. They're excellent, they're brilliant. I've got a couple of the cheap uh, Chinese ones that I bought from AliExpress for four, three or four quid, which are all right, they work, but you're never gonna beat the original hardware. Right, okay, last but not least. Oh, that's me knocking things over. Last but not least, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna actually do a video on this. I laugh my head off when I see this. Um, I've not seen anybody review this actually, um, but I am, I'm gonna do some gameplay on this. This is like a, a Streets of Rage Street Fighter. Um, as you can see, most of my collection is Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Fighters. Um, this, hilarious, um, I will be doing a video on this. I picked this up for like two or three quid again from AliExpress, um, it came in four weeks. <laughs> All right, so, um, going to be doing an add-on to this video, uh, doing an add-on to this video just as an introduction um, to what this channel is about. I think you can kind of guess already. Um, if anybody's going to ask, this table, I will be doing a video on this table. It's something that I actually make myself. Um, I won't be doing a review. You can't do a review on your own product, uh, but I will be telling you, I will just be showing you it basically. Um, uh, going through what uh, materials I've used and all that sort of thing. Um, but that's for another video, just if anybody wants to ask about it. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next part, the introduction of the uh, channel. Nice one, mate.